What up, what up, what up? It's Adam over here in Atlanta. And we got Chad. Chad, go ahead and chime in, man. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm here from Florida tonight, representing Florida. Uh, I'm normally representing Detroit or, or doing both. But uh, yeah, we're here tonight to tell you guys about the Serbia Go. So. Yep, we're here to talk to you about these guys. I know it might look, I know it might, uh, I think as I have it close up, but um, this is the new beacon right here. You can see it's about the size of a double stuffed Oreo. Here's the old one. And you can kind of okay, see it. Now I can see. Yeah, that is there. the that is a difference. Okay. Yeah, much of, thinner, guys. Much easier in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a, a lot easier in your pocket, right? Yeah, not not chunky. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, we'll 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 go right into it, guys. So, you know, we talk about this first every presentation because it's so important. Yep. Who can who can use these? Pizza every shops. Day. Everybody, all right. Pizza yeah. shops. I'll say it again. Pizza shops. Pizza shops. For, for <laughs> sure. But if you need, uh, seriously, if you need customers, which as far as I know, every business needs customers, right? Um, oh, yeah. This is a way to generate them and to do it on autopilot, okay? Yep. Today, for instance, I'm just going to give you guys a quick ex of my experience today. I went downtown Lakeland. Um, I was not doing anything all day. I was sitting at the house. Went down to downtown Lakeland, which is about a 15-minute drive for me. And uh, while I was down there, I was showing a friend of mine who is in another network marketing company with me, uh, my beacons, because he had never seen them before. And uh, I changed the message. I didn't have any, any hits on it at all, right? And over the 30 minutes that we were eating lunch, I ended up getting 27 clicks on my beacon, okay? 27 clicks while I was eating lunch. I, I, I wasn't doing anything. I was sitting there goofing around my buddy. All right. And I had 27 clicks on my business, which I was uh, promoting some credit repair. But here's the thing, guys. This is a way for you to generate eyeballs to your business, traffic to your business, to your landing page, your website, um, whatever you're, you guys are driving traffic to with your Facebook ads or however you're advertising. This is a better way and a cheaper way to do it. OK, it doesn't matter what type of business you're in. You can use this to generate business for your business. If you're very smart and you're creative. You can actually go after targeted leads, okay? Not just general leads, just targeted leads. You can target very well with these. For instance, I'm an insurance guy, right? I do home and auto insurance. So I place my beacons in DMVs because I know there's going to be people sitting there. There's going to be a lot of them, and they're going to be goofing around their phone waiting to get called up in line, right? And what are they there for? Something auto-related, all right? They're getting tags. They're getting... No, and, insurance, and, title switched, whatever it is. And guess where they're going afterwards? To the pizza shop. And to I'll the say pizza it. Shop. And, and, this is, and this is why I keep saying it because something really interesting popped up today on the corporate uh, live where a guy went to go sell uh, the beacon to a pizza shop. He went a block away, not even 100 yards. He went a block away and – to a, the pizza shop that was down the street from the other one. And he said, I want you to check your phone real quick. And guess what? Guess what was on his phone? This guy. The, the other guy's pizza shop. The other guy's <laughs> pizza shop. And he's like, listen, man, either he's going to do it, and he already is doing it, and you're going to miss out on it, or you're going to do it too. And guess what? He ended up doing it. So, look, you can. Be, it, it doesn't matter who you are. You could want to sell Girl Scout cookies. There you go. That's another one. Girl Scout troops, Boy Scout. Oh, they sell popcorn, don't they? No, but it, but yeah, but you're the premise behind it's right. I mean, it doesn't matter what you're selling, guys. Like this can get you more people to look at it. Okay, and that's the important thing. You know, we we can be goofy. We can say all these different things, but like the the more most important thing is, guys, you're getting traffic to whatever you're trying to advertise, okay? And that's the entire purpose of advertising. And the most important thing on these is not the beacon itself, it's not the service, it's the message that you put on the beacon. For example, I have an event that I'm going to in Atlanta and it is probably one of the, or if not the biggest technology event of the entire year. Super exclusive, Mark Cuban's actually gonna be the keynote speaker in it. And I just created a landing page to get people to download the program or the agenda of the entire event. So on there, it says, Venture Atlanta schedule here. 
And so when they click on it, it takes them to a landing page of the, you know, Venture Atlanta. And it says, enter here to get your free uh, schedule, right? And when they click on it, they have to enter in their name and their email to get the schedule sent to their phone. I'm getting all those leads. So how many people do you think are going to be there? They're going to be like, oh, I, what's the schedule? I don't have the schedule. I lost my pamphlet. I need to look at the schedule. And if they're scrolling through their phone, which most people do, it's going to be there. And they click on it. I get the lead. And who knows? It could be a billion-dollar company, you know? So – that that's just another thing too. The message is is crucial. Yep. And I put this I put this little graphic up real quick just to remind you guys what happens when you don't keep up with technology. Okay. Uh, just in case anyone doesn't know the story of how Blockbuster went out of business, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you real quick. Uh, Netflix exactly. came to Blockbuster and said, "Hey, we want to sell you our online video rental service." Right. And and Blockbuster's like. Nah, man, no one's gonna do that. Nobody's gonna rent movies on their on their internet and watch it at home like that, right? Good call, Blockbuster. All right, you don't want to be you don't want to be Blockbuster. You don't want to be behind <laughs> on the technology, guys. And that's what's gonna happen to all these business owners right. that aren't using this because their competition's gonna use it, and they're gonna be advertising cheaper than ever before. And once they realize the power of these things, they're gonna go out and buy a hundred of them. Mm -hmm. okay? And they're going to be everywhere and you don't want to be the last business to have these. Okay. Or you're, you're going to end up like blockbuster. I promise you it's going to happen. So, you know, I just put that up as a little, as a little cautionary tale to people that, you know, think that technology doesn't always win because guess what? It does. It does. <laughs> okay. Um, so who uses these? Everybody. All right. I don't care who you are. If you have a business, or you're just trying to get people to look at whatever you're peddling or your If you haven't out. had luck on Tinder and you want to do a coupon picture of yourself with your thumbs up like 20% <laughs> off back rubs. Yeah, exactly. Whatever you want. To do. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Just just throw it up there. Yeah, I mean, we 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 just but like seriously, it it can be used for anything. It's it's the ultimate uh, you know, way to get your message out to people. We do have two different levels of service. We have our basic which uh people who had our goes before are very familiar with, although they still are improved over what we had before. Uh but you're going to get authority character message, you're going to get a link, right? Uh, and that's going to take you to any website you want. There is no limitation on the URL type anymore. Does not have to be a secure link which it's a big thing for a lot of people that use landing pages because not all of them are secure, okay? So they'll be able to use these no matter what. Um, they are provisioned by the users now. They're super easy to program. You literally just click in your back office, click beacon, add new beacon, type in your code, and your beacons are ready to go, okay? They're like instantaneously programmed. They're awesome. Uh, you get a easy-to-use web-based back office, which we will show you guys in a few minutes here how to use that and how easy yep. that is. And you're also going to get real-time tracking of your go-hits, okay? So these things are tracking now individual units. They don't just track your website traffic like they used to. They're tracking what you're getting individually off each beacon. Uh, so this way you can do a lot of split testing. You know if your messages are ineffective. Um, like Adam said, messages are very important. And I normally stress this a lot more, but I'm not going to go too crazy with it tonight and, and you know what chad i'm going to go ahead and share my uh i want to go ahead and share my screen yeah go for it um so that way i can kind of show everyone what the back office looks like um if you haven't seen it all already so here we go go right here That's no, he's getting that. See it? yep there it is cool so here are my beacons liddy committee pocket change and the go those are my three and I'm going to go to the dashboard real quick. So there we go. Um, that was two days ago. I went to a pretty large event on Saturday and ended up getting 158, 153, and 126 um, total on those three. Now, all three of them, by the way, had the message of free Starbucks. That was my, that was my uh, uh, message on those two. This one down here was not, I'm sorry, these two are free Starbucks. These, this one wasn't. <clears throat> now I work in a, uh, in a fairly large office building. It's actually the financial center in Atlanta. And I also had free Starbucks on these two still, and you can still see like they're up there. I mean, 101 and 102 clicks today on each one. 
needless to say, people were pretty upset when they didn't get free Starbucks. So I didn't get any leads off of that one, unfortunately. But it just goes to show that if you're giving away, for example, this one was free Builderall, right? No one wants Builderall. They want Starbucks. They so don't know what Builderall is. That's they the don't problem. Know what is, but they know what Starbucks is. So you want to stay relevant. And you know what? You could actually use free Starbucks. That could be an idea for someone. You could have a, uh, a picture of yourself or a website with yourself saying, hey, free Starbucks. Knock, knock, jokes, guys. Of you, but you have to meet with me, and I have to give you a uh, wh- whatever your, your pitch is. It could be anything. It could be about lawn service. It could be about a hairstylist, whatever it may be. Set your first appointment with your hairstylist, and I'll buy you Starbucks, right? Um, but it just goes to show this is, you know, this one right here is uh, pocket change. That one's the go, and that one's Liddy Committee. It's obviously not too late. That's that's the power of your message, guys, what we were just yeah. talking about. If you have a good message, you're going to get clicks. If you don't, you're not, okay? It's just like any other form of advertising. I can pay a million dollars for a Facebook ad and have it hit 10 million people. But if my ad sucks, no one's going to click on it. Okay. And that's- speaking of messages, here are the messages right here. So you can create as many messages as you want here in the back office. So, for example, if you wanted to create a new message, right, uh, you wanted to go here, and for example, the one that I'm trying to do is I could say, um, yeah. here is the agenda for today. Yeah, yeah, I send them to, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going to send them. Uh, I don't know, facebook.com forward slash Servia advertising, right? Um, and I wanted to send them there, and then I hit submit. It's not going to work. Oh, wait. I didn't put HTTPS. I couldn't see that. Okay, there it is. HTTPS. So here it is. Now I'm going to hit submit, and my message is there. Um, here's the agenda for today. So now I go back to the beacons, right? And if I wanted to change, um, I don't know. Let's say I wanted to finally change the builder all one, right? And I go over here to change this from the deal. Now I go right here, and where's it at? Here's the agenda for today. Boom. There it is. I hit update. The beacon's updated. Yeah. That's simple. And it, and it really updates that fast, guys. It like literally. Fast. Yeah. Yeah. And if I wanted to do a deal, I could do a deal right here. I can go right here. It's a, it's a new deal, right? Choose file. Get a little picture of a Starbucks cup of coffee. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those. Um, let's say I wanted to do Chevy, right? And I could say... I don't know, 50% off all Chevys. People are going to be mad at this one too. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Terms, it doesn't exist. Um, Business name, Chevy, uh, expires, I don't know, end of the month, right? Phone number, Mike Jones. Mike Jones. Um, Mike Jones. (laughs) <laughs> um, website is going to be chevy.com and oh sorry i gotta put http yep. in, right always http or whichever one and you hit submit and boom the deal's done and that's how easy it is to create a deal um and like i said it gives you analytics on everything that you do um it's just, this is just the coolest platform that they have, and there's nothing there's nothing out there that's like this. So, so I'm Adam, pass it back Adam, over to Adam went a little bit out of bounds there, a little out of order, but yeah, he showed you guys the plus service. So oh um, yeah, we'll talk, we'll talk about that next. Uh, it's the same as the basic, which is the message part that he was showing you. The only difference is you're gonna get coupons, guys. You can put graphics, photos. Um, you can make deals, offers. There's actually timers coming out soon, so you're going to be able to do like a lunch special, breakfast special, dinner special, and have those automatically switch during the day on a timer so you don't have to go in and switch them manually. So for restaurants, bars, anything that has like time deals like that, that's going to be huge. It's going to be a huge selling point. Um, you also, with these, these can be shared, guys, and that works for iPhones or Android. So once they save that deal to their wallet, that deal's in there forever, and they can share it from there to Facebook, to Twitter, to wherever, okay? Uh, It'll also share to an iPhone, so it will show up on iPhones with these deals. And the coolest part about these guys is once they have that coupon in in their wallet, okay, so they save it to their wallet and they have it in there, 
anytime you update your coupon in the back office, it's going to update automatically in their phone. Okay, so you have constant contact with that customer once they have your deal. Okay, yep. and that's huge. So that that's a little bit about the Go Basic and the Go Plus. Uh, the Go Plus is nineteen dollars a month per unit extra. Uh, we'll go over the pricing a little more in depth here in a minute, but it is a little bit extra to use that, guys. But you know, from what we've been seeing out in the field as far as testing, uh, it's totally worth it to have the plus units. So yeah. Now here's why a business owner, uh, and if you're here as a business owner, this is why you want to be advertising with us. Okay. Facebook is the number one mode of advertising right now, uh, depending on which business you're talking to, but almost all of them are very heavy Facebook advertising. What they don't realize is that the average person really only spends about an hour a day on Facebook, okay? They're, they're scrolling, all right? They're not spending a whole lot of time. They read articles that they wanna see, or they maybe check out what their friends are doing, but they're not looking for ads, all right? Um, and, and I'm not saying they're looking for ads on their phone either, I'm just saying like the majority of that hour is spent looking at stuff that matters to them. The odds of them seeing your ad are much less in that hour than they are going to be on this phone because the average person spends five hours a day on their phone and they check their notification bar over a hundred times a day. Okay. So they're going to see this message if it's on their phone. Whereas if they're on Facebook or any other type of medium, there's a, there's a much less chance of them actually seeing it. Okay. So where would you rather advertise as a business owner, Adam or Kevin or whoever's on here? Where would you rather advertise somewhere that someone spends an hour looking a day or where someone spends five hours looking a day? Well, obviously five, five, hours, five hours. obviously. Right. Okay. So that, that is so powerful guys. Like there's no other place that you can advertise even TV, which costs thousands of dollars more where people are going to be spending more time looking. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and I just actually looked up a notification while we were talking. The average person approximately checks their notifications every 12 minutes. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, like there's probably someone now who's not on their phone currently who's probably checking their notifications. Oh, yeah, huh. absolutely. But, um, you know, this is just a cost breakdown of some other forms of advertising, guys, just because I want to show you how ridiculous this is to anything else. And this was from... Um, Web, web page FX. It's literally uh, a, a year-long study they do every year. This was 2016 on the average cost of advertising. So national TV, super expensive. We won't even go over the prices, but if you can see, it's in the millions or hundreds of thousands of dollars. Okay. Uh, national magazine, five anywhere from 500 to 30, 397,000 for setup, and then 250,000 per ad. Okay, and, and I think I think the point that we're, that we're trying to make here is this is thousands, thousands, yep. thousands, 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 thousands. We're not talking thousands. We're talking twenty five dollars. Look at these guys. Every one of them. Look at your setup cost. These are averages. Okay, look at the look at the amounts of money that people are the businesses are paying to advertise. Okay, you're giving them a cheaper, better way to do it, and not only that, a place where people spend more time. And if you actually go in and you tell a business owner exactly what this is and what this does and how it can help their business, they're expecting to pay a thousand or two thousand a month. They're not yeah. expecting to be like twenty what twenty five dollars, dude. Let's do it. Yeah, you don't tell them the price first, guys, because they're gonna they're gonna put that price in their mind, right? They're gonna they're gonna say, oh man, well you know I spend uh, five thousand dollars setting up my SEO last year and I pay two fifty a month just to maintain it. You know, they're going to think those numbers in their head, they're going to be like, man, this is going to be stupid expensive, right? Because you're going to be able to hit so many people. And then you go to the price and you show them the price. They're like, what? That can't be right. Yeah, That can't be right. I've heard that so many times now. And it, and it still shocks me every time because I'm just so used to the prices now. But like the amount of advertising we do for this price, guys, let me tell you a little secret. You can take one of these units and I don't care what you sell. You can go put it in a stadium, a baseball stadium, a hockey stadium, a, a basketball where there's multiple games every single week, okay? And you're going to get thirty to 40,000 fresh sets of eyes that are going to see that every day, every day. And you can do that for $25 a month, $25 a month, guys. It's just, it's unbelievable. I'm a business owner, so I know, okay? I paid a lot of money for Facebook ads last year. I paid a lot of money for- I spent, uh, I wouldn't even call it a lot, but I spent 600 bucks, $613 last, just last month. On Facebook, yeah. On I mean, just it's, Facebook ads, yeah. 
So we're talking about the amount of reach that you can get for these guys, like three units, 49 a month for real. That's like having three people that are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year for $50 a month. Okay. Same thing with eight units, 99. And they go all the way up to a hundred pack on the bulk guys. So, you know, if you need more than that, you know, contact whoever got you here. Uh, we can get that bulk pricing for you. But I believe the hundred packs right in the range about 1200 per month. So you're looking at about $12 a unit. Uh, you can't go wrong. All right. And then you're looking at $19 for everyone that you want to upgrade to the plus service. So you don't have to upgrade. Like Adam said, these, this is on a per device basis. So if you only want one to be plus and you want the rest to be regular. You're, you're more than welcome to do that. Uh, activation 30 per account. That doesn't matter how many devices, one or a hundred, you pay $30 one time activation. They just did a uh, $10 shipping because we, we switched our shipping over to UPS to yeah. help our customers get their stuff quicker. So there is a $10 two to three shipping. business days. Yep. So there is a $10 shipping charge now, guys. This is not going to make or break a, a business owner, I promise you. Okay. Um, first and last payment plus activation is what it costs to get these things. It's just like any other lease, guys, except we're not making them sign a lease. They can cancel at any time. But they're putting first and last month down, which covers our equipment cost and, and whatnot. So, you know, we got to make sure the company is profitable, right? Uh, replacement cost, $25 before 12 months, unless it's defective, okay? If it's defective or the battery stops working, we replace it for free. If you lose it or it gets stolen, guys, it's a $25 replacement the first year. As soon as you hit your 12 months, it's free replacement. So we realize the battery's half done already, and we're just going to give you a new one, okay? Um, so that's the pricing. And uh, I think that's about it for the customer portion of it tonight. Do we have any customers on that want to ask any questions? Any business owners? Not yet. No? I think we're good. Okay, I don't see any. Uh, yeah, Thomas, I'll send you uh, a copy of the graphic, buddy. Just tell me what you need. And um, okay, so go ahead and end the recording, Adam, and then we'll uh, we'll go over the affiliate side. And if you want, you can we can record the affiliate side. Let's just do it separate. Cool. Sounds good.